we're working on messenger RNA, which um, provides a, a message to the immune system to um, confer immunity and prevent COVID-19 infection. That's the plan. And um, the starting point is really the, um, the proteins that uh, the virus has in it that we, that we want to confer immunity to. And you measure that through antibody titers in your blood, just like you do with flu, the flu vaccine or any other vaccine. I want to ask you about the process for this because, you know, there is a saying where there is a will, there's a way. And clearly there is certainly much motivation across the world for a vaccine to this coronavirus. Does that mean we can fast track the process? Because typically when we look at the cycles for other vaccines or other drugs coming to market, there's a set period of time that it takes. Can it be quicker to bring a vaccine to market if you come up with the right remedy? Yeah, I think, uh, I think this is a very, very special situation. Uh, what we're talking about here is uh, a, an epidemic of worldwide proportions. And here, everyone is working to address uh, that challenge as quickly as possible. We're going into uh, clinical testing late next month. Uh, you mentioned we had um, uh, signed a collaboration with Fosin, who will uh, help us to develop the product in China. Uh, this morning, uh, you may have seen, we have just announced uh, together with Pfizer uh, that we've entered into a letter of intent to accelerate um, this vaccine approach that we're taking uh, globally outside of China. So it, 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 with all, we have to join together here in order to get this to what everyone wants, which is to get a vaccine on the, on the market available to everyone worldwide as quickly as we can. Sean, we've been talking a lot about different private sector solutions and I keep reading about the race for the vaccine that you and Karen were quite clearly illustrating there. But is this now going forward going to be a wake up call to the public sector, to governments actually to ramp up their own research and work more extensively with the private sector? Will there be a government stroke a public initiative from now on in, do you think, with the lessons learned from this crisis? I, I, the, the, you should you should know that um, uh, the government uh, research institutions uh, and uh, private companies like ourselves uh, work very closely together uh, in developing uh, programs all of the time. So I, I I think of course this raises awareness uh, of the importance of uh, continuing uh, that collaboration between. Uh, those three groups, most certainly, but I don't think that um, necessarily it changes what has been what's been existing for for many years, and uh, and we continue to work uh, around the world. We, in our case, with uh, different institutions uh, to uh, further research, both in, in infectious disease and, of course, where we're also active in cancer. Uh, Sean, I appreciate the fact we've got you with us because you can help us understand, I think, hopefully a little bit more about how this um, uh, virus is operating um, and what the potential is for it to mutate and thereby make redundant um, any vaccine that's developed uh, very quickly. Could, could you just clarify for us how deadly, how serious this virus is in terms of, uh, say, something else we can understand like the flu? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's too early to say uh, yet whether this uh, virus uh, uh, acts in the same way as uh, flu with uh, uh, changes to uh, it itself every year, like the seasonal flu. It's simply too early to say that. What I can tell you is that the technology we're using, messenger RNA, allows very rapid response once we have something available to the public to change uh, the composition of that uh, drug to address any new strains that might arise. And that's one of the beautiful things about uh, using messenger RNA. It gives you the flexibility to respond quickly once you have something available.
Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.